Chicago. And I was like, what? You know, because I was just starting to be attracted to boys. And so I, I said, okay, forget it. That's it. Forget it. I'm not going to be no, a <laughs> You say you're a lapsed Catholic. Uh -huh. After your run-ins with the Vatican, I'm surprised that you haven't been excommunicated. Well, I probably have. I just don't know it. You think so. they could at least tell you? Yeah. I think once you're excommunicated, though, they just don't want to have anything to do with it. I think they don't want to waste the stationery, you know. I mean, they just sort of pretend you don't exist. Do you think some of your performances over the years have embarrassed your family? Maybe. Yeah? It yeah. doesn't worry you? No. What about your dad? Well, you know, I want my dad to approve of everything he does, but I mean, I think everybody seeks their parents' approval. Even if they know deep down inside they're never going to get it, you know, it's... You can't get away from your parents, you know. And you've always been his favourite? Well, I'd like to think that. <laughs> I could be wrong. <laughs> Hello. Dad? Yeah. Hi, it's me. Well, hi, how are you? And, and in the movie... That golden-haired girl phones home. I mean, Dad, I'd love it if you'd come to both shows. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's pretty racy in some sections. I don't know if you could take it two nights in a row. Oh, yeah, I could get racy on Dad, I'm not getting racy. I've been racy. I know. I so strong then there's this scene. Madonna making a pilgrimage to her mother's grave. The first in 15 years. And with cameras rolling. I'm going to sit in right here. They're going to bury me sideways. Some found it offensive, but not Madonna. Little girl, you got to forget she was only six when her mother died from breast cancer, a slow and painful death. My mother was, you know, this superhuman creature and I didn't want her to be weak i didn't want her to be tired and i was i was mad at her and she cried herself because she couldn't play with you yes yeah and i could feel then as a child when i was sort of pounding on her that even though i was a small child that i had a hundred times more strength than she did i mean i could feel her frailty even as a child so you still miss her after 25 years i know you were very young when 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 she passed away what sort of impact did she have on you Probably her death has had more of an effect on me than her life, than what she did when she was alive, you know. Just the fact that uh, my, my mother disappeared, you know. So I think that that affected me a great deal because all of a sudden something very important was missing. So I've sort of had this emptiness that I've had to sort of go out into the world to fill up, you which know. Is, which is why it helped you succeed. Yes, actually it did. made me very determined and... It, I think it gave me a lot of the drive that I had. But if you believe the movie Madonna, sometimes there's no drive at all. Despite the adoring fans, sometimes she's alone. You've been compared uh, to a mixture of Little Orphan Annie, Little Orphan Annie, Mae West, Ooh. and Margaret Thatcher. Really? Have you heard that? You know, I don't know anything about Little Orphan Annie. I know about Margaret Thatcher and Mae West. And uh, they certainly, I think, they were great women. So, I mean, uh, strong, intelligent, you know, in charge, whatever. So, Sounds not like shabby you. company. But now, but I don't know anything about Little Orphan Annie. So, should I be insulted or flattered? Um, innocence, I think. Oh, oh, that's good. Innocence is good. I would think it would be a great mistake to take everything I do on stage seriously. And do people get the joke? Some do and some don't. Does that frustrate you that, that, that I think so many people don't get the joke? Yes, it does frustrate me. yet another past persona. This time, the material girl. It certainly has a ring of truth when you consider one estimate of her earnings. More than 50 million last year alone. 
but talked to the material girl today and she says she'd give almost anything just to be a mother. How much does, does motherhood mean to you these days? A lot. It means a lot. I do, I do want to have a child. Would you be a good mum? Uh-huh. Not too busy? Not travelling too much? Well, I'd, I guess I'd have to change a few things. You know, but if I travelled, I, I wouldn't, my child would be with me. Hi. You're great. Thank you. You're great. Thanks. And one final twist from the star who can change tack almost as often as she changes hairstyle. I'm so desperate. For what, honey? For some fun. It's all fun work. Well, this is fun to me. In the movie, I mean, she's been there, done that, and more. Boring. Who do you want to meet next? <sighs> Who do I want to meet next? Who would really blow you away? I think I met everybody. <laughs> but back at the interview, there's still a spark. So much to do, so much still to see. Is there anyone left that you'd like to meet in the world? Yeah, a lot of people. I, I want to meet Gorbachev. And I want to meet... Um... Princess Diana? Yeah, I'd like to meet her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bob Hawke? Who? Bob Hawke. He's the Prime Minister of Australia. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Oops. <laughs> There's certainly millions of Australians who'd like to meet you. Uh-huh. Are there any plans to come to Australia? I'm going to get there someday. I, w I swear. I swear I'm coming soon. <laughs> I bet you say that to all the guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. <laughs>